Good morning, everyone. Now I'm going to do a tutorial on using whoops using leaded enamels and unleaded enamels. Um, using lead, unleaded enamels together and unleaded enamels with leaded enamels, and which ones work in which way, whether it's underneath or on top. So, anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna use um, comparable colors. Uh, I'm using Thompson unleaded enamels. I'm gonna use this lovely storm gray. I'm going to use uh, their, u their kind of most commonly used white and I'm going to use their grape purple which is that color and then I'm going to use similar colors in the leaded enamel so what I'm going to do is do two layers of the uh, uh, we're going to start with the grey, I'm going to do fire two layers of the grey um, and then we're going to mix them all up and, and see what happens. So we're going to start with this one. And this is 1.2 mil and it's about 2 inches. These are just off cuts from other things. And I'm using an 80 mesh sifter. Try and keep it nice and even. But I'm not going to worry if some bits burn off because uh, we can redo it. Okay. So there's my unleaded grey. I'm going to fire that for about a minute and a half and then we'll take a look. I'll do the, I'll do the leaded one in a minute. Here we have our leaded and I'm going to use this lovely blue-grey. This blue-grey um, can burn off quite easily and sort of change colour. It's one of the things that's nice about it but it's a little bit unpredictable. But we're going to use it anyway. So this is leaded. And then we're going to fire that. Here we have our unleaded white. This is uh, 1030 white from Thompson in the States. It's old, so it's got all sorts of bits of black in it, but that's okay for our purposes decent enough coat. We'll be doing a second coat on each tile. We'll have two coats. And our leaded soft white. My go-to white. My favorite color. Now, and again this is 80 mesh, 80 mesh sifter. Right, we'll fire that. Now let's do our purple. I Purple is my favorite color, but I have failed to get a purple that I really like in enameling. Anyhow, because it's my favorite color, I'm ultra fussy. But this is the unleaded grape. It usually comes out darker than this. And then we'll do our other purple. Get those fired. Now for our leaded purple. Uh oh, hang on a sec. <whistles> Trying to do too many things at once. Now you can see the grains are getting quite big there and it's not coming here. So what I'm going to do is um, put that coin in. And it's the coin sort of shoves stuff through. And you can even see, hopefully, if I... Can you see some of the grains are... Some grains are darker than others. That's because this, actually, I have... This is the very end of this purple. So the bigger grains are left in it. Um, which we'll see. There's nothing wrong with those big grains. They're just more sugary than than the others. Okay, here are our pieces having had their first firing and I have to admit this purple is much nicer than I gave it credit for. I was slacking it off saying I didn't like it and actually I really like it. I don't know, I seem to have changed my opinion on it. Um, so there's our leaded. 
it's got good coverage mind you I did make an effort to make it covered it's very dark um, but it's nice uh, here is our leaded white which I always love if you look if you compare it with the white of the unleaded this is very sort of brownish you can see really see the copper through it this white in this hand here um, makes the copper go blacky blackish green so there's the difference in the way they look and here we have our um, blue gray which has burned off to the copper here and this is our other gray our unleaded gray storm gray which is nice it gives a good flat color so let's just compare these two purples together as well one of them is more pinkish this is the grape so I'm going to do um, a second coat on each of these and fire them and we'll have another look at them and then we'll do some stenciling. Okay, here we have our sample pieces. Um, I'm going to try and pick them both up. Let it on the left, unlet it on the right. Now, um, these are two different colors anyway, but they're the closest I could get to each other. So let it unlet it. And actually they're not as hideous as I thought they were. I have to admit it. Here's our leaded blue gray. You can see some of it is still burning off. It's just that whatever the color is made up of. Uh, and here's the unleaded storm, which is a really nice color. Um, now we're going to do the more interesting part, which is putting on some stencils okay now we have our tiles and um, this is unleaded white and these are unleaded colors so we're going to do a stencil to see how the leaded on top of leaded works and I'm using a hundred mesh sifter we'll see how that goes I'm not even going to worry too much that some of it's missing off here and there that's actually okay. Now there's a bit gone over here. I think that's all right. And I'm going to fire these. And here are our leaded pieces. And I'm using leaded white. Again with a hundred mesh sifter. And let's use a paintbrush to get this stuff off. Now we're putting the unleaded storm grey onto the unleaded tile. So it's going to be unleaded on top of unleaded again. And finally, for this round, we have our leaded blue-gray on top of our leaded white. Again, using a 100 mesh sifter. It's pretty good coverage there. As yet unfired. Right, let's get the first batch in. Okay, let's have a look at what we have here. Um, so all of these had two layers of enamel plus a stenciled color on top. Unleaded, um, it's pretty, you know, nothing to see here. The leaded, unleaded white with unleaded purple, it's nice nothing strange or startling really good color really even color on this gray and then here's the white with this gray on top of it um, let's look at the leaded ones now so that's the same the leaded with leaded on top works out nicely uh, I'll come back to this in a second here's the white one with the blue gray 
and it came out well with the white but I don't know if you can see it here but there's a very different texture to this grey in comparison to the white it has a sort of mottled look and we're going to look at the grey now as you can see this one is quite different around the edges you can see the copper coming through it's sort of burning off and going translucent and the white has gone really strange now let me hold it to the light it has a different look you see that sort of pockmarked look let's compare it with the, unle with the unleaded it's really really flat that's really really sort of textured looking okay let's carry on So this is going to be the first time we combine unleaded and leaded together. So I'm going to use this, uh, this stencil. It's 100 mesh again. A decent enough covering. I might fade it out a little bit towards the end there. Now where is my... Let's move it. Okay, this is leaded white on top of unleaded. Again, 100 mesh sifter. And then I'm gonna brush that stuff off. Here is our leaded purple on top of the unleaded piece. Now we're going to go for the unleaded grape on top of the leaded, on top of the leaded white. use less on that one lots on this one less on that okay let's see what we have so far um, this is the unleaded white the purple kind of spreads out a bit when it's on the on the uh, unleaded so leaded on top of unleaded has a tendency to spread out a bit uh, it's not so obvious here. This is unleaded, and that's leaded. This leaded one, because it's been fired twice, um, this leaded white is unleaded white has been fired twice. It's kind of dulled down a bit, and the same with the purple. And you can see where it's crossed over. It's gotten a kind of mottled texture. And here's the leaded. Now that chipped off because I put it into hot, uh, cold water when it was too hot but anyway let's ignore that this is the unleaded purple it kind of um, what happens is that the un the leaded base pulls some of it down and this comes up even with this one that had a lot more on it and it's still very mottled looking here is our uh, strange looking um, blue grey the unleaded went mad it didn't combine well at all this is the leaded this is the unleaded now that wouldn't work obviously if you're trying to do a really precise um, stencil but it still can look really nice and a leaded purple that's leaded white that's unleaded white and you can see it's broken through I'm gonna do one more firing of these and um, call it a day Now we're going to do the two purples. So this is a leaded tile, which is now having some unleaded gray put on it. We're going to combine the two grays. So this is our unleaded tile, and we're going to use leaded on top. Now we're putting the leaded purple on top of the unleaded purple. I'm going to let it go off the edge. This is going to be our unleaded storm grey stencil. I'm 
As one final thing, I'm going to do the white on top of the white as well. So this is unleaded white and this is leaded white going on top. And here is our leaded white tile and this is unleaded stencil. I'm going to cover up that little splodge as well. Although I'd say it'll probably burn through that little Okay, I'm going to go through these one at a time. I think it's worth it. This was our white leaded piece. Now, I don't know what happened there. Something strange, but anyhow, I covered up my little error with that bead quite nicely. Um, you can just about see the unleaded white here and over here. You know, if I turn it in the light. So that's the unleaded white. Here is our, I think that could be my favorite piece. Here's our un, here's our leaded, sorry, leaded white. Here's our leaded blue gray, which is really strange, especially in comparison to the others. Um, the unleaded gray almost doesn't exist. You can only just about see it. And that was our unleaded white, which is which came out really weird. And that was our other white, our leaded white. So this is. Um, Especially, well, I'll compare it with the other one in a minute. This, there is a, you know, it might look a bit messy and, and ugly, but these, these kind of things have their place because one of the reasons why you might want to do enameling is because you can get weird and wonderful things and it doesn't look like it was made in a factory. It's one of the reasons why I like that. Now here is our leaded purple and it's gotten quite pink. Um, here's our unleaded white, unleaded purple on top. And here's our leaded white, which combines well with the leaded base. But this has broken up. If I kept firing this, this would just keep on breaking up. So would this one, breaking up. And the lead will pull the unleaded through. Here are unleaded tiles. Now, this is the white. You can see that the pink has really spread. It's sort of... Um, it's, it's not sharp at all. Hopefully you can see that. And this is our leaded white on top. And it kind of spreads as well. And this is our leaded grey. And I decided I'd add a few little beads to this one as well. So that's the unleaded white. Our leaded grey. I think this could be the winner. That storm grey is, is really brilliant. It gets fired and fired and it just keeps its stable colour. It's really, really nice. There's the unleaded white on top. There's the leaded white there. And this is the unleaded blue-grey. And actually that kind of looks nice. It's just ghosted back. So I think that tile is really, really nice. And here is our grape. Our unleaded grape with unleaded white. Uh, with leaded white and with leaded purple on top. So hopefully I haven't confused you more. Hopefully you've learned something from this. <laughs> um, it can be confusing, leaded versus unleaded, which goes on top. The general rule is that if you're using an unleaded base and you use leaded on top as a stencil, it'll spread and go kind of like this purple pink has. Well, it's gone pink. If you use a leaded base and unleaded stencils on top, there's a major pull-through, pull like you can see here. But the thing is, you have to experiment because every color reacts differently um, depending on its constituents. So hopefully that will give you some idea, but it's just a question of um, doing loads of sample pieces before you do your combination of colors and leaded and unleaded on top of something that you spent hours working on. So make sure you do your samples and then you can't go wrong. Thanks for watching.